Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Zcash. In today's video, we will once again take a look at this big falling wedge pattern. And on the four hour time frame chart, Zcash has broken down the support of this ascending triangle. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more ideas, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis. And first of all, let me begin with my recent trade setup of Zcash uh, that I shared with my members on uh, 2nd of November, a few days back. And that was a harmonic bullish reversal setup that uh, Zcash formed on the daily time frame chart. And our buying zone uh, was from 51.3 cents and goes to 49.80 cents. And our sell target zone was from uh, 53.3 cents and goes to 55.5 cents and I have defined these targets as per the Fibonacci sequence of this Gardner pattern and if I play this chart then you can see that the price line pumped very well on this daily time frame chart and by the way this was almost 10% pump uh, within few hours uh, within few moments you can see that uh, how it reversed bullish from this potential reversal zone and after hitting the sell targets on the, pri the price line again moved down now if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart then here we have a very strong support of this uh, downtrend line that is the support of a very big falling wedge pattern. After this recent extreme sell-off uh, on this candlestick that was uh, started on 7th of November, that was opened on 7th of November, uh, you can see that uh, the price line moved down but did not break down the support of the wedge and still getting accumulated up the support of the wedge for example if it will be reached the resistance then this time the resistance will be approximately at 47 dollars however we also have another key resistance here that is at 50 dollars above the resistance of this wedge and if we take a look at the previous history of this this resistance then we can see it has been working as a strong support here and here and here as a support here as a support here as a support here in December 2018, it was breaking as a support, and even here, uh, back in March 2017, and in December 2017, it has been breaking. Uh, 2016, it has been breaking as a uh, support and resistance. Therefore, this time it can again break as a strong resistance for the price line. And even after breaking out the resistance of the wedge, the price line will need uh, still need to break out this key resistance in order to start a big reversal move from here. On the daily time frame chart, we have broken down the support of this ascending triangle. That is a bit critical, but you can see uh, here on this daily time frame we have found another uh, short-term support that is at $36.90 and it has been working as a recently it worked as a support here and previously it worked as a support here on uh, the 12th of November and even here as well on uh, 8th of November when we had this extreme market crash but the stronger support is still this uh, downtrend line support of this falling wedge pattern on the weekly time frame chart now for example if we take a look at the target for this uh, uh, breakdown after this breakdown what we can expect the target to the downside then our expected target to the downside as per this triangle can be here that is approximately at 33 cents and for example if the price line uh, breaks out this triangle then our target to the upside can be here at 48 uh, sorry not 33 cents that is uh, at $33 to the downside and to the upside it will be approximately at $48 or $47 and in that situation the price line can also break out this bigger resistance of the wedge as well and the final target once the price line will be able to break out this bigger uh, falling wedge pattern will be here at the top of the wedge that will be approximately at $300 so this was the update so far i hope that you've liked the analysis then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and for more ideas you can also join me and support me as a youtube member or as a patreon member because here i am sharing different trading ideas for you and you can find a link to join me here in the video's description i've shared take care goodbye